Now let's try something a little different with the Hummingbird and Scratch. First, we'll make a program to turn a knob into a dimmer for a standard LED. Then, we'll make the knob control a servo, so you'll need to make sure to plug in the power cord from your kit. In this example, we will be directly influencing outputs with sensor blocks. Start by heading to the Hummingbird blocks and selecting a rotary sensor block. For this example, keep port 1 selected and be sure to connect the sensor to port 1 on your Hummingbird board. Stay in the Hummingbird blocks category and select a standard LED block. To have the two blocks work simultaneously, simply connect them like so. This sets the LED's intensity to the value of the rotary or knob sensor. You can test this short program by clicking on it and manually turning the rotary knob. Every time you turn the knob and click the program, the value should change the intensity of the LED. Now let's make it so we don't have to repeatedly click on the program to change the value. Head to your controls and select a forever loop and place it around your LED and rotary blocks. Click the forever loop to activate the program. Now when you turn the rotary knob, the intensity of the LED will automatically change. Moving on to the next step of the program, let's add a servo to the mix. Go back to your Hummingbird blocks and select a servo block and a second rotary block. Make sure your servo and power cord are connected to the Hummingbird board. To make the servo work with the rotary sensor, you need to scale the sensor value to the range of the output. To do so, go into your operators and select a multiply block. Place the multiply block in the angle value of the servo. For the values in the multiply block, type 1.8 in the first one to scale the 0 to 100 range of the rotary sensor to the 0 to 180 degree range of the servo. In the second value, place the rotary block. Now place the completed servo block in the forever loop already in place. Click the loop again to test the program. When you turn the rotary block, you should now control the intensity of the LED and the position of the servo. And that is all there is to using Hummingbird sensors to directly control Hummingbird outputs. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel.